So first, I want to say thank you to everybody who congratulated me on being on the show and then uh, congratulated me for fooling them. Uh, it was a crazy experience, a lot of cool, funny stories uh, that I'm going to recap in another video. But I, I first just want to say uh, my thank yous uh, to everybody out there uh, who supported me and uh, that believed in me even more than I believed in myself, I guess. Uh, I had no intention of uh, trying to fool them when I decided what trick to do and, and uh, going out there. I just wanted to get back on Penn and Teller's radar, and I even performed a trick that I've taught to magicians for years. Uh, it is one of my published routines, so there was a good chance that uh, they had known about the effect and known everything on how to perform it. Uh, so I was just there to have a good time and share with them uh, some of my magic uh, live so they could see you know, who I am and what I'm about. After that, I mean, no, no uh, man is an island and no magician is an island. Uh, we all kind of work together and support each other. And I need to thank uh, many other magicians who their work, um, you know, evidence of their work or actually their work directly uh, appeared in my routine uh, that was aired. Uh, first uh, thing that appeared that was uh, somebody else's was uh, DeVoe. I uh, had taught me uh, through his instructional material a lot of ring flourishes. Uh, this is kind of like a ringistry. Um, I don't know if that's actually a term, but it might be now. Uh, so ring uh, flourishes that I learned from uh, DeVoe, you'll see little uh, flashes of that. Uh, then the Paul Gertner routine where uh, you, you take the thumb off. Now, I know the editors uh, with uh, Penn and Teller Fool Us might have thought that I wanted this to be a gag, and they chose a camera angle that the, it shows that it's a gag uh, for this moment. But one of the things that I love about this is if it's done right, uh, it actually is a very good illusion. Even though everyone knows how it's done, it still is beautiful. You know, I'm not gonna fool you with this, but you know what? Rainbows don't fool us either, and they're still beautiful to look at. You, you know it's refracted light, you know it's an illusion, you know it's a trick, but it's still beautiful to look at. And, you know, there are many moments of magic that it could either be a gag or it could be beautiful. And if this is done right, uh, this is actually a beautiful illusion. I, I, I love uh, the, uh, the thumb trick when it's done uh, right. But then Paul Gertner came up with this idea of putting the ring on the thumb. Like the ring would, would actually prove that the thumb was, uh, was solid. And uh, I love that concept. So I want to say thank you to Paul Gertner for his uh, concept with using a ring uh, with the classic thumb illusion. Next, uh, I need to say thank you to Mary Edit, who, you know, it really was his ring magic that uh, even inspired Banded for me. Uh, the idea of pulling a ring from one finger to the next is uh, a routine that he created, and it appears uh, in the third phase uh, of, uh, you know, of the Banded routine that got aired. Uh, you know, his concept really inspired me to create, you know, I didn't want the ring to go from one finger to the next. I wanted it to go through the whole hand. I wanted, I really wanted to take it the whole way. Uh, so it was Mare's uh, magic that really uh, inspired me. And then also, you know, the other thing that Mare is known for is his finger fantasies. Uh, all of his stuff that he does where he can vanish his finger. Uh, that was a major inspiration uh, in the routine. Uh, y you know, taking taking the finger off and, and putting it back on, that's definitely uh, uh, a nod to uh, Marietta's work. And uh, so I want to say thank you to Mayor. The other routine that I really would want to acknowledge is something that I learned uh, from Patrick Kuhn, who uh, has this way of pulling the ring uh, through the finger. And uh, he also told me about Alex Ward, uh, who has a version where you can pull it through uh, the finger out. And uh, I guess uh, Justin Miller has a version where you pull it through the pinky 
uh, out, and I think that's the distinction. Uh, although Josh Janowski had a version, we pull the hand away from the uh, from the ring, uh, and uh, Alex Wards is pulling uh, forward through the ring finger. Uh, but there's so many people involved in the uh, in the history of this routine. I want to say thank you to everybody for contributing uh, what you did. Uh, and uh, it was a, a nice period uh, to the routine. You know, it was uh, not the effect they were judging it on. They knew to, to only judge it on the, the banded routine, but that uh, moment really made it more entertaining for the audience, and I definitely want to uh, say thank you to those people. Uh, I also want to say thank you to Michael Chout, who... Uh, who kind of organized the uh, audition and, uh, you know, made sure that went smoothly. I'd also like to give a shout out to uh, magician Joe Maxwell, who uh, was actually the person I was helping out to prepare him to go on to Penn and Teller's Fool Us. And uh, there were a lot of little things we were working on. And, you know, he eventually turned to me and said, why don't you just do this? Why don't you just go on the show? And uh, so I, I chose a routine that would work. They really helped me in saying, just do it. You know, it, 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 it'll be fun. It'll be good for you. And uh, the, they turned out to be right. So thank you to, uh, to Joe Maxwell and uh, Michael Chow. Uh, after that, there's a lot of people that... Uh, have, you know, helped me understand my ring magic even better. Uh, people that have published their own stuff and ideas uh, from other magicians. I definitely would want to mention uh, Martin Gardner uh, for all of his work with uh, thimbles. He has this uh, vanishing penny trick uh, that, and uh, his cigar band, jumping cigar band, uh, the flyaway birdie thing. These are all uh, classic routines that inspired my ring thing, that even got me uh, into ring, ring magic. Another uh, person to mention would be Jay Sankey, had a, a, a trick where you pull the ring through uh, one finger to the next, uh, called Mercury Ring. Uh, that was not a part of the inspiration. Uh, I actually heard about the routine after uh, my release of my effect, Banded, uh, but it actually is very uh, similar. Uh, but uses uh, a, you know totally different concepts and also is a totally different trick. Uh, he pulls it from one finger uh, to the next, uh, and I wanted to go through the whole hand from beginning to end. Uh, and it's definitely something to study. You know there are things that he can do with his routine that are awesome that uh, I've even played with after the fact. Uh, just to see if there was something to learn, and uh, there are some benefits to uh, his concepts, so definitely look that up as well. Uh, but the uh, the smoothness is what I wanted, so uh, my concept uh, is still what I use, because uh, it's a lot smoother, a lot faster, and it achieves what I want. But definitely, you know, anybody who's teaching ring magic, if you're trying to put together uh, a, some some sort of magic moment, Learn it all, you know, find everybody and, and support, you know, the creators and, and definitely uh, uh, learn as much as you can and then piece it all together for yourself and figure out what pieces you like and, and really make up your own routine. Yeah.